Boy, McDaniels was not even close with the three, so inside they go. And the foul is called Zana. Shot clock at seven. Back to Patterson for three. Splash. Shot clock now at 10 seconds. Nice pass to Wright. How sweet was that? Clemson has gone five minutes without a bucket, and they lose it again. Wright ahead to Zana. Right from long range. That wasn't even close. Zana gets it back. Great give and go. They use a lot of the clock, and they get high percentage shots. Shot clock at eight. Robinson for three, just like that. Boy, Harrison had a good look. Boy, sure did. Oh! How about that? Zana again. And you talk about rewarding your big guy for running the court. That is some pass by Lamar Patterson. You know, we talked about his passing ability, but that is just really something right there. And Zana, he's going right to the basket. The shot clock is at five. Picks up his dribble, a little bit of trouble. Patterson's got to go with it. Drains it. Here's Robinson, looks up at the clock. Still plenty of time, 15 on the shot clock. Again, what that indicates is they're getting really, really good shots. How about the move by Robinson with a step back spin? No, that's a great point, especially when you look at their three for 12 from beyond the arc. They just sag in the, in the middle. Zana again. That's his third three-point attempt of the game, but his first mate, he's about a 35% shooter from out there. Oh, my. Patterson answers him. Now down to six. Nice pass to Jones, who banks it in. You know, I, what are you really going to say to your team at this point? Well, Clemson now with just 20 second half points. Their season low is 25. And there's Newkirk again with another three ball. Pittsburgh wins it big, 76-43. I think I'm going punchy after this game. <laughs> 43 points is all the Tigers had in the entire game.